Lawrence, corner of the end zone, caught for a touchdown. Trevor Lawrence, we know he's a legend in his own right with all he's done and what he represents. How has he evolved as a leader of this program? Oh, well, yeah, it's amazing because these guys' careers really, it, it moves so fast. I mean, they come in you know, with a baby face just waiting to get on the field. And then the next thing you know, with Trevor Lawrence's situation four games in, uh, he's taken over the program when Kelly Bryant left. So I think he obviously pretty early on realized he had to be a little more vocal and had to do those things. But Dabo Sweeney joked that with the new uh, red shirt rule that he's got three more years to play at Clemson. And, and I don't think anybody expects him to play uh, any more than the next, uh, where, where, whether it's 11, 12, or 13 games. I don't think anybody expects much more out of Trevor Lawrence at this point. But, you know, he's a guy who every time you talk to any of these coaches about him, they just, they kind of shake their head. They're in awe. As a high schooler in Cartersville, Georgia. Lawrence going up top. Throw it in his first pass is complete. And it might be a touchdown to T. Higgins if he's got it up yet. Welcome to the big time, Trevor Lawrence. What does year three look like for him as far as do you foresee him breaking records, Heisman Trophy, another national championship? Yeah, minus Justin Fields, I think he's the clear front runner for the Heisman Trophy. And, and I, you know, I don't know that he cares all that much about winning individual accolades. He's really about winning games on the field. And so when you when you see that in a kid pretty young, it's, it's special. And as far as his numbers, you know, I, I don't know how great they'll be, but he probably won't play a, a whole lot in some of the second halves of these games if Clemson does what they expect to do against a lot of competition, even in the Atlantic Coast Conference. 